Folks, just wanted to give you a quick intro to the newsletter. Uh, number one, ecosystems are really starting to form. Most of the ecosystems we're seeing right now in the SSI decentralized identity space are really application specific, meaning they work in the context of a particular ecosystem. We'll talk a little bit about one that's kind of bridging ecosystems. It still is kind of aimed at a, at a single purpose. The reason for this is interoperability. We'll get into that in another discussion in the future. One of the key pieces, though, that's driving some of the adoption of ecosystems is a new concept. Well, it's not that new. We've been talking about it for a few years, but it's really getting a lot of attention right now, and that being trust registries. Speaking of which, we're putting on a webinar kind of explaining that what is a trust registry? Why might you need one? Um, what's the bare minimum for a trust registry? And what does it do to help you build up those ecosystems? Speaking of ecosystems, the Good Health Pass Blueprint, the sort of the third item here. Good Health Pass Blueprint has dropped. Um, it goes through quite a bit of detail on how we can improve both the privacy, um, the security, as well as the user experience of these, what's being called vaccine passports. I don't particularly like the term myself. It's more about getting that red uh, X, meaning you're not allowed to travel, or, or a green check mark that says you're good to go. Um, following various different rules that are in place and making sure that you, you're maintaining privacy all along the way. So the Good Health Pass Blueprint uh, dropped. We were a big part of that. Um, our team uh, led actually on the trust registry side, as you can tell, there's kind of a theme to this uh, particular uh, newsletter issue. Um, that is, I think, in one of the main uh, main chapters there. That work actually continues on right now at the Trust Over IP Foundation. If you want to dive in and start helping, there is a task force that uh, Drummond Reed and myself are leading. Um, that we're doing a fair bit of work on that, hoping to wind that up in the next few weeks uh, by, say, mid-September. Uh, that should be more released to a broader audience, at least. On the corporate front, um, the company's growing. We're, uh, we are uh, working with more and more groups who are looking kind of for that team to help the kickstart things. This SSI, decentralized identity space, really has kind of two approaches to you to dive in. One is spend months or years um, learning the kind of the basics, um, which I'll, I'll dive into the basics in just a second on this. Um, there's a lot there. The other part, it's like you got to learn it yourself or you can bring someone in who can spin you up faster. And we're getting more and more requests for that. On that front, uh, the newsletter, you'll in be introduced to Olivier Dubot. He's a, a gentleman who's just joined my team and uh, he's out to help uh, us understand what exactly it is that folks are needing. So you may hear from him, you may hear from me. If you don't, just please feel free to reach out, ask him questions. Um, last item, I usually do a, a book review. I'm gonna do two. Uh, book recommendations, two of them. Um, here I go, smacking the mic. First one, uh, Self Sovereign Identity by Manning. Uh, link is in the in the uh, newsletter. Uh, Drummond Reed, Alex Prokshat uh, led the editing on this. There's about 50 or so kind of uh, leaders in the de decentralized identity SSI space. Um, I worked with Drummond and created the Digital Wallets and Agents uh, chapter. And inside there are trust registries that are mentioned as well. Um, so that's on the sort of the decentralized identity space. Another book to really consider is The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. Um, he's the guy behind uh, uh, Start With Why. Uh, the Infinite Game I have found uh, since reading it multiple times has come up time and time again. And it really makes me think about what we're doing in this industry in that we're not trying to cut up the pie and take more of the pie. We're trying to grow the pie and we're trying to grow the opportunity, um, make change, um, there is no individual battle we're trying to win. It is where we are, we're not just trying, we are making a difference in how things are done uh, that leaves behind benefits for everybody. Give that book a read. I think it's a very good strategy and, and overall big picture thinking book. That's it for now. Talk to you soon.